Hi, I'm Lou and today we're going to fix my mini bike that won't start. I'm pretty sure it's the carburetor, but we'll take off this, 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 and this. Spray in some starting fluid. And it runs for a little bit. So we'll take off these 10 millimeter nuts and pull off the air box. Take a few pictures here so you remember how it all goes back together. Squeeze here and lift up this clamp. This out of the way. Pinch here to stop the gas flow and pull this off. Then cork it off with something like a drill bit. The gasket with the carb pulled out a little bit, this will lift off and this spring will come out. And the whole carb comes off. Take off this 10 millimeter bolt and pull off the bolt. So we have two options at this point. This is a carburetor cleaning kit and it came with a free tachometer that we'll try later. And over here we have a new replacement carb. I'll post links to both of these in the video description below. Unfortunately, the jet is permanently mounted in the stock carburetor, but it's removable in the new one. You just put a screwdriver in here and unscrew the jet and dump it out. This is the jet and you can see it's tiny little hole in the middle. This is the emulsion tube with a larger diameter hole. This hole is blocked on our other carburetor, but this smallest tool is actually a little too big to fit in there. So we'll use a bread wrapper with the paper stripped off. That fits in there just fine. So we'll spray carb cleaner in there and use our twist tie to get in there and clean that out. Back together, back on the engine. When you're putting the air box back on, make sure you get that tube in that hole. Let's see how we did. Works great. Now we'll try option number two, a new carburetor. Off with the old and on with the new. The new carburetor comes with new gaskets, fuel line, and fuel filter, but we'll use the old ones. And with the new carb. Yep. Let's give this tachometer a try. You flip it over and you push one end of your wire down into that slot. And I'll stick it on right there. I routed the wire next to the throttle cable all the way down to the spark plug wire where I wrapped it around several times and attached it with the provided zip tie. Let's give it a try. That seems about right for idle and now I'll rev it up. That's actually pretty cool. Thanks for watching and good luck cleaning or swapping your carburetor.